beat. Welcome to Roast Beef episode 12. We're out here in San Diego today with... Freaking Shannon, baby. We're gonna go check out his favorite food spot. San Diego Burger Company. Let's go check it. Let's go. Our village, baby. Ready right, to get a grub on? Yeah, fire burgers. What else is like to skate around here? Uh, the city, downtown. You know, I always like to mob around the city, though. That's like the, my like favorite things to do when I go to like different yeah. cities and stuff. Just go straight to downtown it? areas. Yeah, city life type stuff, dude. I love it. Nice. Yeah, man. There's a couple spots in here that I wish I could skate though. You know. All right, look at this right here. Yeah. A little Hello, around the ledge. <laughs> yeah. Trick into oh, yeah. the trick into the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Which way? I'll follow you. Yeah, yonder. 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 Y'all destination is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that. Nah, this is a zone. They got little like bands playing, like old like bluesy type dudes and stuff like that. I like, like it. Pretty sick. I like it. It's a cool place to hang out with your girl, right? OG carousel. Yeah. Oh, I could bring my kids here. No, I'm serious. It's yeah. like such a nice little place though. Nice little ocean breeze right oh, there. No. It's a calming little area. Feeling it. Got a little bit of everything. Nah, Ice cream, different foods. Oh yeah, they got all the little little shops and stuff. Fish market. And here we are, SD Burger Co, baby. And then the burger joint. Here we go. Burgers, fries, and beer. Bam. What's good? San Diego Burger Company. Chicken and waffles or what? Nah, straight burgers right <laughs> now, bro. What's up, dude? I was hoping to eat some chicken and waffles Yo. with you. Yeah. Where we at? Now check this spot out. This is the spot. San, San Diego Burger Co, bro. Nice. You gotta say it like that, dude. San Diego Burger Co, bro. San Diego Burger Co, bro. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh, whoa, dude. <laughs> that thing's Yo, huge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Go. We ready, yeah. man. Get your burgers here. All right, we got our burgers here. This is mine right here. You got guac on yours, right? Yeah, I got guacamole. All right. <laughs> Shit's fire. Got some onion rings and fries to share yeah. too. Oh, I'm gonna have that free. ranch though, for real. All right. Ranch with everything. You like ranch with everything? Everything. Yeah. Don't, don't mess with me, dude. Like I seriously, yeah. I, I'd keep a ranch in my pocket if I if like. You're not, if honey, I really need you're not honey mustard. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> Usually keep the hot sauce in their pocket and shit. No, nah, oh. I keep the ranch in the back pocket and whip it out like yo. Uh -huh. on everything. So let's start off. Where are you from, Shuriken? I'm from San Diego, California. Born and raised? Yep, all around downtown Ocean Beach. You were born in downtown and Ocean uh, Beach? Well, I mean, I lived in Ocean Beach for a long time and shit. Okay. That was probably like my main origin of like growing up, skateboarding, school. And then, then I trans transferred over to like downtown uh, like area and oh. whatnot and shit like that. But then I just bounced around. I'm like, I'm Sweet. pretty much from all over SD, SD, basically. That's how I feel because I lived at like pretty much Randall's. everywhere, you know, throughout my life and shit. So, nice. You know. Right on. All right, on. Who you sponsored by now? Sponsors these days. Uh, Arbor Skateboards. Uh, who else am on, dude? I'm like, yeah, who else am on? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Arbor Skateboards. Uh, <laughs> Uh, simple times, my own little thing, and then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Just whatever I could get a hold of, you know, these days and shit. You know? Cool, cool, nice. Yeah. How'd you find out about this place? Well, it's in Seaport Village, a good old historic Seaport Village. You know, uh, touristy area, locals and stuff like that. Got a carousel and a bunch of cool little food shops along the way. But this spot's dope. Uh, I came up in the spot a little while ago. Burgers are on point. Uh, everything is really good, dude. The bread, like pretty much everything. Sauce to it. And uh, and one of my homies works here too. So, you know, that's the both worlds. So <laughs> what, were you just skating around the harbor one day and like, let's go in this little spot and check out what they got to eat? And like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you found always it? kind of bounce around like that. Cause uh, like, I'd always go to the, the, there used to be this little like, cookie bakery over here and shit. And I was like, when I was a kid, like growing up too, like I'd always want to go to the cookie bakery and shit or whatever they had. Like, you know, let me get a cookie. Cause they had like cheap cookies and shit mm -hmm. like that. But place ain't there no more. Mm -hmm. But all this has been here for years and stuff like that. So okay. uh, I like to bounce around. I'm a foodie too. I like to cook my own stuff too and shit. But oh, yeah? you know, bouncing around at good restaurants, fire. Like if you're skating around downtown, San Diego mm -hmm. or the Harbor, Come check out San Diego Burger Company, right? Burger Coast Fire. I like this place. It's so. good. I like it. It's nice and vibrant. I'm cool. enjoying the burger right here. Mm -hmm. Juicy meat, thick pieces of mm -hmm. fucking bacon, mm -hmm. some avocado, some Thousand Island dressing. Come on now. Look at that. Yup. Ah. Well, that's why I say if it ain't messy, then it ain't worth it, bro. Come on, dude. You got to get a little messy. You drip, know? drip. It means you're enjoying that. Right? <laughs> So, you said you like cooking yourself? Yeah, I usually cook a lot of that at home and stuff like that. Just like, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, it's one of those things where like, you eat out so much and they're like, dude, I'm spending so much money, I just eating out. I'm like, I can cook this stuff myself. So, you know, and then I watch cooking shows too and stuff. So I watch all these cooking shows. I'm like, I'll come up with something like my own version of something. Tell me something. Let's, let's, hear, let's hear one of Shuriken's yeah. Iron Chef recipes. Yo, Chef Lay Black <laughs> over here. Yo, <laughs> Chef Lay Black. Dude. No, these are top secret recipes, bro, dude. Like $2 eats, yo, I got cheap eats for under five bucks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, anything, dude. Cornbread, cornbread and chili, always fire. Make your make your own. All, everything from scratch, though. You know, okay. it's like you can go out to the store and just buy buy it as is and stuff like right. that. But <clears throat> building stuff from scratch and making something like completely from nothing, you're mm -hmm. like, dude, this is dope. And it's like, there ain't no rules in it. Dude. You can cook whatever you want as long as it's good and it tastes good and you're straight. So, but uh, yeah, like cornbread, like homemade cornbread is so bomb. Like, yo. Ooh. Whip it up, put actual corn in it, some cream corn, let it cook, let it bake up, and then uh, you get some homemade, like, you know, whatever, chili or something like that, and it's simple. This is like all cheap eats too, you know? Right. Like, that's why I like, cause you, you never know, dude. The stuff you get for like $20 a plate out, I'll make for like three, four bucks, dude. Like, 
Mm -hmm. Come on, like, <laughs> who doesn't want to eat at home? You just gotta have the will to, you know, just yeah, cook. Some at home. people know how to cook. That's probably some why. people do, <laughs> but if you, you know, take some time out, like, dude, you gotta, you gotta, you got everybody got a kitchen, right? Everybody got a stove, right? Everybody got a pot, right? Like, mm -hmm. you can do it too. So you yeah. know, so that's why I like to go off of. Them. I make like anything and everything. So and I, I especially like to make the the cheap eats out of like you know uh, anything because it's like, dude, I made this meal out of two dollars, dog. Like, come on, like. Can't tell me nothing now, dude. You can make anything out of a couple bucks and right? like that, you know. So, nice. <laughs> but that's why I always like to eat at home, though. So. Yeah, and you probably know what's going into it too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, and yeah. especially you know what's going into it. Sometimes yeah. you, you trust somebody, like they give you right. some dry ass shit. You're like, dude, what'd you do? You have a bad day. You have a bad day, dog. Like one bad day at a restaurant. I don't know. Could you could end up, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. How about any like bad experiences you had with, with food? Panini. Oh, I can't mess with the panini. Dude, oh. all right, check How about it. About panini. I, I saw. Uh, this was a few years ago, but it, oh, it left. It tainted me. It it, it it messed me up. I was I was over. I'm over scarred, after that. Scarred for life. But uh, I went to this restaurant. I won't say what restaurant it is, but. Uh, oh. Uh, so, but they press it. There's something when you press the paninis and stuff like that. And I, I don't know if it was either something wrong with the bread or something like that. But it fucked me up and it gave me uh, food poisoning. Oh! And this was messed up because this was uh, during uh, skating crate during the Trans World days, like the oh, yeah, yeah. Trans World skating crate days and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Oh, when they used to do, the yeah, they build the obstacles warehouse. in the warehouse. That's First day, sick, dude. Like I got like gnarly oh. sick, like throwing up everywhere. Everybody's uh, like skating, having fun. I'm like, dude, I want to skate. I want to do some stuff. Like, but I'm like in the mix, trying to get it, and then trying to like go back to like, yo, that panini messed me up. So I think uh, paninis will forever be in my head. Like, I'm good. Was it like um, a chicken panini? Or uh, I think it was a. You know, I, I think it was a ham. Ham panini. Like a ham one and shit. Oh, like that. Like one of those. Maybe it was just that one. But it left. Like I see a panini on that thing. I'm I'm good <laughs> on that. Just slide that to the side. Right? <laughs> Straight. <laughs> And these burgers are bomb too. What do you say? No. Fire. Yeah, there's a lot of burger spots in SD, but you know, there's like select ones that I like to like zone in on them. And this place is like OG. It's been here for a long time too. So uh, they make good good stuff. Fries are bomb and crispy, dude. Like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I concur. As advertised, you know. Yep. We got good staff, you know, all ground sirloin. Prepared yeah. to order. Yo, it's that thousand dollar dressing though. That's where it does. Oh, there's the boss, Edgar. Yep. My man. <laughs> Hustling. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, but yeah, this is this place is clutch though. If you ever in SD, Seaport Village, stop by. You know, there's a bunch of places, a good sites to see. Carousel right over there. But this is a spot to get a burger though, for real though. Mm. Oh, so I, I heard you like you're an artist too. <laughs> Artiste, bro. Artiste. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. What, do you, what, do you, what kind of art is it? What is it's it? a little side project that I like to do. I've been I've been shooting photos for like ten or so something years. It's like I bought a camera a long time ago and I travel with all these people, skaters, and travel the world and stuff. So I just take photos and shoot videos and I just keep it. I'm like, I didn't never really did anything with it. I'm like, yo, I wasn't out like, yo, I'm gonna get this ran in a magazine or I'm gonna, I'm gonna get homies shot that, you know, I'll go out with like thrasher photographers or whoever and I'll kind of shoot behind the scene, behind the scene type stuff. And mm -hmm. just of just random heads that I've been, either been on a teams with or traveled with or just shot this random stuff out and out and stuff. But uh, so I've just had all these photos compiled up on my hard drive for years. I'm like, I don't know what the hell to do with these, dude. Like, I mean, I guess I'll show them on my like, social media sometimes, but I'm like, I found this interesting little idea to do with them, but it was uh, basically photo wood transfers, basically, but I do them on recycled skateboards. Uh, pretty much like, or either like, you know, used, like whole skateboards or broken ones, mm -hmm. but uh, I'll do wood transfers with the photos I have and uh, on there, and then that's it'll pretty much transfer out to like a, my own canvas. That's what it's say. So I pretty much sand down all the boards to like whatever they need to be, and kind of tie in the graphics that were already there a little bit maybe mm -hmm. into the photo that I use to you know transpire on the fucking artwork to say and shit oh, like that. But so. it's been a cool little project I've been doing for like six, seven years now. 
and uh, I've been doing uh, some breweries and stuff. I've been sh showcasing a couple of those at Where? some breweries. Uh, Culture, Culture Brewery, uh, up in Ocean Beach. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, up in Slaughter Beach too. I did two little little okay. gatherings. Okay, I've been to uh, one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pretty cool. I had a little sideshow with uh, Steve Cab and uh, Jeremy Ray and Chris Markovich. I was like, yo, I'm next to these legends right over here. Like I'm, not, I'm not, an artiste now. Not for a true skateboard mag thing, right? Uh, yeah, the true skateboard mag, dude. That was that was dope, dude. I appreciate the showcase. That was fire, and uh, it kind of opened up a little bit more avenues. I started doing little like hip hop shows. And, just random stuff like that. Whoever wants to showcase, you know, you know what I do, go check it out. Black Eye Visuals, you know, uh, that's like, you know, something I thought was cool and that's something to be interesting and different that I haven't really seen. Uh, I've seen the, the concept done, but not on like really recycled skateboards with like photo photos. And it's like all the photos I've shot throughout the year. So, you know, oh. people start to dig it. I'm like, yo, you're an artist. I'm like, what? Yeah, so, I guess. <laughs> so if someone interested in buying one of your pieces, how, how can they do that? Yeah, they could uh, hit me up through Instagram, you know, Shriekin's Joint, All Instagram, right. or Black Eye Visuals on Instagram. Okay. Um, and then through there, there's a link. And then uh, you go check out the whole collection of everything. And, and then you ship Everybody, it out. and I ship it out, you know, maybe to, you know, sign in a little bit. And, Oh, no, whatever they kind of need, you know, so if they're into it, that's always kind of cool. It's something, you know, for a particular person that likes, you know, whatever they like, you know, mm -hmm. whether it be palm trees or skateboarding or lifestyle or whatever it may be, cars or something like that. So, mm. but uh, it's it's cool and fun to like kind of come up with new concepts and like bring it to life. I'm like, yo, it's kind of cool. It's, it's either going to go on my wall or somebody's wall. So, yeah. yeah, usually it's always on my wall. I'm going to beat that. I'm <laughs> no, gonna get check one. that out. I'll get one from you. Yep, see? Yeah, 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 I got you. You need some, you need some of your uh, photos done too. I got you on that work too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Homie hook up. Collab. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do a collab. You know, Carl Photo, Shuriken Transfer. Yeah. You know? No, that'd be cool. I could do, that's why cool. I kind of want to do a little collabos with like certain heads like that. You yeah. Kind of bring sick. little things to life that were never there. They're recycled. Shit that are just gonna stay in my garage, no reason, right. no purpose at all again, just to be thrown out, but you know, turn something into, you know, turn nothing into something. That's what it really yeah. is, you know, so. Yeah. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Word. Right? Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. Remember that shit. Yes. So give all your broken boards to Sharika. Yeah, exactly. You got extra used boards? <laughs> give me that, all right? <laughs> Repurpose that for you. Repurpose, you know? yes. Uh -huh. So, but, um. <laughs> what do you got in the works for the future? Future projects, man. We always grinding, always skating. You know, it's nonstop. You know, every skater knows it's a nonstop grind, nonstop process of filming, shooting photos, you know, uh, working on a couple little video projects and stuff like that. Some personal project, passion projects. It's always a passion project. But, uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully get it to the masses as soon as possible. So, you know, more artwork. You know, maybe create some events for some people and stuff like that. I always like to do that. And, uh, you know, keep on pushing, you know. More skateboards coming soon, too. More pro models coming soon. So, uh, yeah, I want to do everything, man. Shit, dude. What's up? I don't want to act, too. Dude. I'm going to start acting now. What's good? Like, what? <laughs> uh, a couple commercial things. It's just random stuff. You got it? I always thought it was always kind of cool to be an actor, even though if I wasn't had a good presence or nothing like that, but just like, you know, imagine yourself in that position of just, you know, being free or something and just kind of creating your own concepts, you know? Right. That's what we do on a daily basis anyway. We create our own videos, photos. So we're directing our own, you know, movies already and stuff like yeah. that. So, uh, but I always thought it'd be interesting to see if you're like, yo, your brother's on a big screen. What's good? <laughs> uh, but it's cool. It's cool to see skateboarding too. And like, and, uh, you know, Hollywood motion pictures and movies, it's like come together with like certain lifestyles, you know, it's always a lifestyle and people want to see certain things. Uh, I see certain skaters like starting to act a lot now too. It's pretty funny to see and shit like that, but there's some good, there's who? Some good ones. Uh, Nikkel, obviously Nikkel, Nikkel was doing that one. Jason oh. Lee's always the main dude, obviously. Yep, like, yep. Oh uh, yeah, Frankie Hill, yeah, Adam McNatt. Yeah, Random Pirate, Heads. That Peter Pan movie. Yeah, see? That's right. Oh, trying to be a, all the thrashing movies yeah all that type of stuff we i mean it's funny because you always see it in all, all old school it. old school videos too we always do our own short little intros and stuff like that so we were always kind of you know like keen to the camera basically yeah. so it's right it's, it's nothing basically our whole life's on camera bro like pretty much <laughs> yeah, like no matter what we skate we shoot video whatever my whole life has been on camera for the past 
20 years, something like, like that. Like right now, too. So, yep, like I said, you watch me right now, all right? And go on watch the more skating, yeah, go and go watch more skating, you know? So, uh, but it's always dope to see and, you know, just trying to, you know, stay positive and, you know, continue living life. And that's all we can do. Yep. Strive to push forward, you know? Live it up, bro. I'm done here, too. <laughs> yep, see, finished. Oh. That's a wrap. So. Dude. Uh, oh, under ring done. Thanks for sharing the spot. No, that's a good little spot, dude. Appreciate you coming out Thank with you. me. Now we about to get jiggy in the streets and shit. So, what's good? All right, there you go. Skating around San Diego downtown, right by the harbor here. Beautiful view, dope spot downtown to skate all over downtown. Come to San Diego Burger Company. Get your grub on. It's finger licking good. Yeah, yeah. Get some. I'm out. Peace. I walk off like this. <laughs> <laughs>